Hello everyone, this is Donnie. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. And today I have a post review for you. <clears throat> I just posted um, the unboxing and first impression of this painting yesterday. And I actually worked on this for Saturday and Sunday, yesterday and today, and I actually got it finished. So, here is the finished product. This is the uh, painting that was sent to me from Riolis. And it was such a small project that I figured I could do it rather quickly. And even though it is just a 20 by 20, um, it still took me... I wrote it down in almost 20 hours, 19 hours and 15, 51 minutes. So let's go over some of the things um, about this. Uh, like I said, it's actually a, I think it's a 21 by 21. I can't remember. Um, I wrote it down as a 20 by 20, but I do believe that in the catalog it says that it is, oh, it does say 20 by 20. So, it, but it's almost 21 centimeters in both directions. So you can see that it's got a nice sparkle to it. It is a square. I have a lot of lights going on here. Let's see if I can turn this one off, if that helps a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's too much direct light makes it hard to see it, but the darker colors seem to, to, to sparkle off a little bit more than the lighter colors on any painting, but there we go. Okay, so I actually found this on Amazon and... I just put in an order today for one of the other ones that I wanted to do. Um, and I couldn't choose between this one and the other one. I actually uh, picked the Russian cat, which I think is just, it was, I just love it. But I had to pick one. And this one had a little bit more uh, detail to it. So I wanted to give this one a shot. And I'm seeing so many crooked drills on here. <laughs> but this, this is shining. Um, so, now that I'm facing it towards me, it is shining and sparkling so much more than just what you can see in the camera. But <clears throat> I will link down below, uh, again, the places that you can get it in the U.S. Those are, I only found two places. I went over a lot of the links that they left on their master list and I only actually found the one on Hirschner's website and then somebody had mentioned something about shipping costs on Amazon and so I went to Amazon and looked and they have like nine of them on Amazon and some of the ones that they have there they don't have on Hirschner's so <clears throat> if you're in the U.S. between the two, um, you might be able to get the one that you want out of the 16 that they offer at the moment. But I'll leave the link to both of them down below in the uh, description box. As for the other countries, um, I'll leave the master list again. And if you want to go through and check your country or um, maybe email them to find out if they have a more updated list or something because uh, that's all I have is from what they have on their website. So let's see. Let's go over some of the things about this. Um, I'm going to show you a um, side by side of the photo that I pulled off of Amazon of this painting. Um, it's a finished, it's a completed painting photo so I will put a photo of mine right next to the one of theirs right here
Now, the glue on this was actually really good. I mean, when I, after I've stuck it on here, stuck the drills on here, and then I went back and found, you know, a defect in the, in the, one of the drills, when I tried pulling it up, I had to use my tweezers. And even then I had a hard time getting it back up. So once, once glued this, this glue is really good. It, I, I didn't have any issues with drills not sticking at all. And like I said, it was super it adhered once you get the drills on there. And I haven't had anything fall off at all. So no, no issues with the glue. Now, as far as if the symbols were easy to read or not, um, I only had one issue where I couldn't read the symbols. And yeah, I did use a light pad. I always use a light pad. But um, there were a couple of the symbols over here with the browns. There was just uh, like two of them that I couldn't. I had a really hard time reading and telling what they were. And I had to pull out my magnifying glass. I mean, my magnifying yeah, my magnifier to see what they were, but there was only 11 colors total. So some of it, the rest of it, um, I didn't have an issue with, but for the most part, um, process of elimination, uh, would have been sufficient except for this one. It, I just couldn't tell if it was one or the other because the colors were pretty similar. And did I discover any problems with the canvas not seen in the unboxing? No, the canvas was, I mean, it's perfectly flat. I didn't have to do anything to it, actually. Um, I didn't have to roll it or anything. I mean, it came rolled, but there was no creases in the canvas at all. I mean, it is a fairly small canvas, uh, but, you know, even with, with these small ones, they, if they're folded, they can leave pretty big creases but because of this type of canvas I mean it's pretty thick it's the type that uh, diamond dots uses I don't know if it's the same exact material but it's that thickness and, the, and it, it has the same feel as the diamond dot paintings and they also have the surged edges so you, um, we're not having to worry about them it fraying I mean it does look like it's frayed a little bit down here at the bottom and it may not have been, it looks like it may not have been cut straight, but I don't know if that has anything to do with why this part's fraying, but this is on the outer part of the surged area. So I'm guessing that's what the surging does is it keeps it from any kind of fraying to go past that line so that you don't end up having it go into the actual um, portrait area. Um, if it does fray. So that's the canvas. Everything that I just mentioned about this compared to the unboxing. The glue was great. The and the canvas didn't show any kind of issues other, you know, that I didn't see in the unboxing. Now, as far as the drill go, the, the drills go, here is how much garbage I got out of it. I mean, as you can see, there is very little. And most of it is black. Uh, the, the issues I had were just mainly the, there's tabs on them, on the blacks. And I pulled, you know, a few out. There's not a lot. And then the other colors, uh, it was mostly holes, but like I said, there's not very many. And there's a couple round ones in there and very little pieces of garbage, you know, the, like those extra pieces that you see like that, um, brown one there. And there's, I think I found, yeah, anyway, there's, there was just very little. So, I mean, for a 20 by 20, I mean, this still isn't a lot for the size of this painting. And I'm surprised I actually was able to keep it in one place because I always spill my garbage tray. But it helped that I did it quickly. So <laughs> there you can see it a little better. I was able to spread it out a little more. 
like you really want to see the garbage. The worst one is that brown one with all those holes right there. It looks like Swiss cheese. But there was only one like that, and that was the worst of it. And I had plenty of drills, so I knew I could afford to just go ahead and um, be really picky with what I put on, on the canvas. And as far as I can see, I got anything out that did, that had... Um, that had any kind of holes in it. They, I mean, and the holes that I did find were really small most of the time. And I didn't catch them right away until after they were already on the canvas for the majority. And uh, let's see. Here is what I have left over. I use this container just because uh, my 12 container, which I normally would have used, was a little bit too small for some of these bags, but this actually can, this actually shows really well how much was left over. Every single color had plenty left. The one that I was the lowest on at the end was the black. And I mean, I didn't need very many blacks at all. It was just this, the cat here, the majority of the main part of the cat, and then the stripes on here. And that's the only place that black was used. I didn't run it over, run over with a toothbrush on this. I, I did wipe it down um, with a wipe to get all any of the glue off of here that was left over because that's one of the things I was having an issue with was my glue, my adhesive. I don't use wax, but I use the pick me up tool with the white goop in it. And then in my multi-placer, I was using this poster tack that I had gotten at Hobby Lobby. Well, I switched over to the Aline's uh, um, instant tack and it it was way better. It didn't leave the stuff on the drills like the poster tack did. And I think my poster tack's just getting old and dry and it's just not, not usable anymore. So I'm gonna toss that or just use it for posters. So yeah, um, but yeah, once I switched over to the Aleens, it worked much better as far as not leaving gunk on it. I did have, um, I'm, I'm having an issue mainly with the spacing in, uh, on these drills. There, there were a lot, I mean, not a lot, but there was quite a bit of drills that were smaller the, the consistency of the size wasn't uh, the same throughout. I had some that were smaller and some of them that were shorter in height um, than others. So it left for some just really, for somebody who has a, an obs a obsession with um, making sure everything's perfectly straight and in line it was impossible to do perfectly because of all the gapping because of the size differences and even i can see right here this line right here is not in sync with the others it's off and there's a hole yeah i just saw a drill with a hole in it but as you can see the gaps You can see the gaps throughout and it's it just it's just driving me nuts but i know from a distance it's not going to matter but being up close and doing it i i feel like uh i didn't do the best job because i couldn't keep them straight and that's that just really um that's my own problem that's my issue but i don't really Feel that this looks extremely pixelated. I mean, for a 20 by 20, I think it looks really good, especially considering all of their designs are converted from cross stitches. I mean, they, they're actually they were actually cross stitches, and and they used some of their best ones and made them into diamond. They call them mosaic diamond mosaics. In the, yeah, it says right here, best of Realist's collection. They used. I guess some of their most popular designs and made them into these. But on Amazon, I found the Santa Claus, some of these, the beginner kits. I do remember seeing that. And this is the one I ordered right here. I think it was like $15. And 
and uh, that's with shipping. So uh, here's the, well, I already showed you an image, but all, all of the original images are going to look like the completed ones because of the fact that it, they're showing a completed, uh, I guess this, I don't know if they're actually showing the diamond painting or the cross stitch on here. It might be the diamond painting, but this, this looks like this to be their biggest one. Uh, yeah, it's a 40 by 40 that, um, and I don't remember if they have that one an, on Amazon, but like I said, I think they have like nine of them. So if you want to check them out, that would be the way to do it. It says that my order should be here between January 3rd and January 9th. And today is December 23rd. So that's less than two weeks. So it's quicker than China and... Um, We'll see. So I'll do another um, unboxing when that one comes. And this this one it's this one came from uh, um, the the main company. They sent this out, which they no, they don't sell out of the main company. But for me to show on the channel, they sent it from there and they sent it FedEx. So it got here. I think a total of nine days between um, the time that we first communicated to the time it got here. But from the time it shipped, it only took five days to get here from the, the 14th to the 19th. So it took five days FedEx, but I didn't order it FedEx on Amazon and it wasn't, they didn't, they weren't, are not available on Prime. So that is... That is that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the the only thing that I find on here that um, that uh, my only con, I guess you could say, would would be the different sizing of the drills and um, the fact that some of them were higher than others. And yeah, I probably could have just pulled those ones off too, but you know, when you're on a roll, you're on a roll. And I didn't want to stop. And basically, this is what I all I've done for the last two days. And because I know I'm not going to be able to get my Christmas gift done in time, there's just no way I'm going to be able to finish it. And I'm really frustrated with it right now. So I just did this because I knew it would be quick. And I wanted to be able to see the the final result of this new newer company that just started um doing moving into the field of diamond paintings okay so the general condition of the beads i went over that um was my experience working how was my overall experience with i had fun i mean i enjoyed it i wouldn't have spent two days you know straight working on it had i not enjoyed doing this i mean i liked it because there were very few colors 11 colors so I was able to do one color at a time and just do the entire canvas in that color and then move on to the next. And it was neat actually getting to see it come to life or coming to completion. Even though the background coloring was so vivid and clear, you couldn't tell. I had posted a picture in the Facebook group of my progress after I was done last night. And it was actually kind of hard to tell which area I had actually um, drilled in the part that was undrilled because I used a flash. Um, you couldn't really see the sparkle. All you could see was, you know, the image basically. So, um, yeah, I did eight colors last night and then I did the final three colors today, which were the, the ones that had the most, the, the sky colors. So I did all that today and yeah, I didn't want to stop. I had a really good time doing this and it was nice that I was able to actually clear my mind, block everything else out and just do it. And to actually finish one in the day after I started, it was just amazing to me because I've never done that before. So, um, I did, I only, only time I communicated with this store was when, um, we were in contact about 
shipping and choosing an image and sending it to me. So there was there was no issues with it at all that I needed to, you know, call them and say, hey, I ran out of something or this doesn't make sense. Nothing. I didn't have to contact them. So let me get my little cheat sheet for the scoring guide. And after this, I don't know if I'm going to continue doing this scoring. Um, I, I want your opinion. Do you, do you like to have them scored or do you really not care? Um, or does it bother you that they're being rated? I'm going to leave a poll right up here in this eye up in the corner. If you could just click on that and just answer your opinion on that. I would really be helpful to me because I mean, I'll continue doing them if you guys are enjoying it, but if it's, if it's deterring people from watching, then, you know, I'll, I will definitely do something different because, um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to keep doing it if that's what's happening. So the three points for overall look of the finished canvas, um, I do like it. It, it it could be a little bit bigger uh, for this image, but because, you know, it was a cross stitch, there really isn't, um, I mean, someone could go in and make it bigger, but basically all they they were doing was taking their cross stitch pattern and putting it on and taking and printing it on a canvas on a canvas here. So they didn't have to alter it in any way. So this is what, what you order is what you get. You can't choose the size, but the overall look of the finished canvas is, um, was good. So, um, I'm going to, out of three points, I think I'm going to give it two and a half just because it, it would have looked better in a, a fairly larger size. And even though I know they can't that's not how this company works as of yet, at least. Um, it's that's still just overall two and a half out of three. Um, two points for let's see the two points for bead quality. I'm going to give it one point for the bead quality because of the the difference in sizes. They they were not consistent and and because of that, I noticed a big difference when placing drills, and so it'll get one point for the bead quality. Um, it gets the full two points for the fun factor, one point for canvas condition. It will get that one point for symbol clarity. I'm not going to knock anything off when there was just two, two symbols on the entire thing that I couldn't read. And like I said, that could also just be because I'm blind and I'm, I'm getting old and the one point for the communication because the communication was great with them. The little bit that we did. So that would be um two and a half three and a half four five six seven eight wait let's take away one and a half so it's got eight and a half and then that combined with the 10 points for the first impression that makes 18 and a half points so this gets a overall score of 9.25, which, which is something that I would recommend um, that you go try them out because uh, yeah, I think it's worth it. And I mean, I thought it was worth it enough to go ahead and buy myself another one before I was even finished with this. So um, I did enjoy it. Yeah. And I look forward to them coming out with some of the other ones that they have. Um, I'm guessing if you order from them, you might get a catalog as well of the cross stitches who knows but yeah some of those are just marvelous and if cross stitch didn't take so much long to do i would actually order them and do them but um if they actually do them in diamond painting i will be ordering a lot more from them because wow there's some just absolutely gorgeous designs in there all right guys so that's it for this video and I've already posted a video today that had a question of the day. So I'm not going to ask any question on that. But I hope you guys have a great day. Um, have fun time in painting. And 
right as of right now there's only two days left till Christmas I have a ton of presents to wrap I have a, a small order of pins to ship out for tomorrow morning and so I'm gonna be really busy tonight I sh you know I sh maybe I shouldn't have spent so much time diamond painting the last two days but I needed it I, I really needed time to diamond paint and there goes my trash tray <laughs> so um, I will see you in my next video and just don't forget hit that thumbs up and don't forget to sparkle sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do take care everyone Bye.